Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. We have been very busy so one thing we're going to do today is sell the tether and the bailer. There's a reason for that. We will get to that. Also in between episodes I've gone and done the mowing and we're mowing on our grass fields. I've already done that before so no point showing that again or time lapse in. Especially with that very recently with contracts and all that. But, we need to put this into the silage pit, the one that is open covered. The one that's covered is still covered, we'll sell that silage in December or January time. And our next cut of silage, or next cut of grass, would be in November. And I think for that we'll do hay. But obviously also our mine's gone up and we're in the wrong account. Yeah, we're not not at ooh, 20 odd million a wish. There we go, we're at 634 grand. So how did we get this? We did the tape contracts on field 88 and 100. So 88 and 100. Oh dang it, missed the cultivation. No, instantly when we do these contracts, they instantly cultivate the fields, there's no way to or anything, so that sucks, because that could have been, what, 9, 10 grand for that, and maybe 6 or 7 grand we could have had for that field, but, oh well, but as we have a look, our field beans are ready to harvest on 45, and our grass plot there that we converted into a field bean field, our other little field over here will be ready next month. But we've got a few things to deal with first of all, so what I'm going to do is, as we head to the shop, is include some clips of us doing some contract work. It's going to be, what, about a 3 second clip where it's nothing too long, but shows you the gist of how we got this bunny. So as you can see, we did the potato contracts, they got us a hundred grand, but they were forever to do. For those fields, it took us, what, four hours to do, give or take. Also, some fertilizing contracts here and there, and I think we did a size contract as well. But yeah, the bailer, we're going to sell that, that is because the bailer we got at the moment, we're still keeping it on these. But we will buy that beater or some variety of that, maybe a different brand, maybe a new Holland, or something like that. But it depends on what tractor we're going for. Also, what we've done is off camera, we sold the old forge wagon. We got, after repainting it, all that good stuff, 83 grand. And we bought the TARDIS forge wagon, so bigger capacity at a cheaper price, so we can do 50,000 litres now. We're going to do unrealistic, because that's not, that's not what the series is about. Yeah, we may use it for the contracts for other farmers, but that's their equipment. That's not our equipment for our farm and our business. We don't do that stuff, so... Go on then, move. Jeez Louise. Also, we're going to sell 650. So, yeah, see, you've got the TARDIS. Clamped it out with some glass green, but depends on where we go with new equipment, you have to repaint that. Oh, I don't have to, but I want to. So, there we go. We will just repair and repaint everything. And just like that, we are on 778 grand, so obviously we need a front loader tractor at some point, but we don't need it at the moment. For the bells, we can lift those, so that's not an issue. 
for the science work we're going to be doing, we'll just rent the Volvo wheel down there, which is somewhere around the corner, I think, from the dealership when we do our silage, as we always do. Well, obviously, I ain't going to be until when we sell in December or January time. But we can pay off the loan. We will begin another loan. But let's pay off this loan. So, if you remember, the loan was 475 grand at 10% interest. So that works out at 525 and a half grand. So, you know what? Let's repay that loan. So, go to the bank, transfer money. 525 and a half grand. So now we're debt free. But we will get more debt. But as with like we've done this year, we paid off our loan within the first year. Our next loan will take about two years because it's going to be close to double of what we previously had. Because I want to buy 45. Oh, oh. 53, 52, and 105. Oh, dang it. Sunflower has already been harvested on 56. We do have access to the path, and uh, we've given farm permission to access our land to get to the field, so that ain't an issue. Because we don't really need so many grass fields like these. We will cultivate these up. Because once we get this plot here, really, that's all that what we need, so. Actually, is there anything we'd like to purchase now? I think here maybe 110. But now nah, we'll come back to that later on with any purchases. I'm not too sure yet. Obviously, the loan is going to be in close to a million quid. And already we've crashed outside the dealership. Go on. Wait a minute, this doesn't have beacons on, doesn't it? Oh, nope, let's put some beacons on here a sec. £750 that cost is for beacons and warning squares, like who's on here. A bit expensive, I think, personally, but... Oh, maybe that's just a me thing, so... But yeah, we need to head back to the farm now, and we need to get these grass picked up and put it into the clamp. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go, back at the farm. Also we did lease out the Coon SW404 SVC. That was for doing the contracts and that for the size bells that we've done. Obviously we're not going to do any size bells so what we need to do first of all is fill this up. Nine quid, not too bad of a price. But we also do have all that rock to crush in that because we want to get that line production going. So I'm thinking getting that stone crusher in at some point. But yeah, let's do the size work first of all. And in theory, this should work just fine. There's a bit here. Because, yeah, this is a 235 horsepower tractor. And the requirement for the forge wagon is 200 horsepower, so... In theory, this should work fine. But it all comes down to when we level this, because with the 9.30 e, we had the duties, so we may struggle a little bit with this, so... Well, worst case scenario, we can still borrow the ATAR X from the dealership, because we did pay two grand for leasing it for this week. Because we're still using it this morning to obviously do the mowing and wind rowing. More so the mowing because this tractor can't redo really the horsepower. It sort of struggles. It just about manages it, but 
at home to anything like training at, it does get bogged down a bit, so especially if there's any heaps of oh what's it in the fields and that like little mounds and that in the terrain. But we will figure all out eventually. Because we're gonna get again a new loan out and we're gonna get a fresh 50 horsepower tractor 400 horsepower. Obviously you don't need to go that big. No of course not. But we're good for that big because we can and I want to. <laughs> Simply as that. But anyways, we are almost done here with our first load and already our slash at has gone down to 8.7 litres and we're only just done with this so into the bush we go and we're full. Let's see it does struggle to quit 9 miles an hour. Uh, that's probably because it's turned on, but even still. But we'll get there, we'll get all done. Let's see how this sacks up. So, where would be the best way to come in? I think, in fairness, if we came in the opposite way, it would be better. So, when we come up for the next time, I think if we come down here, turn down here, and reverse it in at an angle. Let's see how we manage with this, first of all. It is a bit of a tight fit area. The rear steering does help, still, but... Yeah, I think that would be best. That gives us more maneuverability and more control. There we go. And we'll just back up. And we fit it from the back. That's going to be the trick for this, is fitting up from the back. And eventually we just keep on going and we'll dealt with it out afterwards. But anyways, we will get this all done. And I'll see you folks in a few moments once this is all complete.
we go, that is most of it done. We're just starting 54. I've got still a couple more dudes left, but I am taking a small break because we need to start compacting this, so yeah. We so open this up. Hopefully we can get up with the weights. Come on. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, that is 300 and weirdly 1,000 litres. The Forge Wagon is 50,000 litres, so no idea where we got that extra 1,000 litres from. But yeah, all we're going to do is go on the top of here and start flattening this top section here. I think if we did this earlier on, we could have gotten a bit more sight. Well, as soon as we sidage in, a bit more chaff in the corners over here and actually no, it's not too bad over here, but still, let's get it all flattened out. Also, I think it's time to start crushing those rocks. Obviously, unfortunately, we did solve the 650, so we don't have a front loader tractor. So I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have a front loader option, so if we go to tractors, medium, over here, which one is it, this one here, yeah, no front loader option, which kind of sucks, I wish it did, but yeah, it would mean we'll need a, either a Teleander or another tractor. That can do front loading. Oh, Lamborghini. I am tempted by that. But maybe we get a new tractor because we didn't want a front loader tractor now. I'm thinking if we say go with the Massey Fergan 7700. Yeah, Simpson S or 8S. What's the difference if we say... hundred six seven grand for 220. That's what we want, so 280. We're looking at 227 grand. For that one, let's get to two two seven. Actually, that's a better value. That is two hundred and fifteen grand for that. You know what? I think we'll go with this. So we'll go with a quickie front fenders standards GPS. Yes. Uh, we'll go with. Should I go with Rolstein? White tires. That's a bit of flotations there at the back. Or do I go with the old fashioned BKTs? Obviously. Oh, yeah, go with those. That's better. Ah, wait a minute. Oh, so get different options. So get the anniversary edition. You know what? I think I'll stick with the weight option, not not the weight option. But we do need a front hydraulic. Front hydraulic, 325 horsepower engine, GPS, front loader attacher, quickie. Yes, yes two, or yes three. You know what? I think we'll go with those. Need to be safe on the road, so you know what? I think we'll stick with that. There we go. I we need a front loader. Which one's ours? That's a class one. 
know what, we'll sell that. And then we'll go with a front loader, quickie. We'll go with the 7M. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go for a massive vibe, shall we? There we go. And that is looking good. 240 grand that costed us. Last thing, now we've got a big tractor that can do front loader stuff. I was tempted to go with a. Maybe a slightly smaller horsepower tractor that could do a front loader. But yeah, we've still got this one here. And we'll still keep it for a fair while. There's no need to set it now or anything, or even plan on setting it. Because I think, let me get this one working, there ain't going to be too many. Oh, come on. Yeah, so that's the thing not careful sliding off. Yeah, we still are, are, do need money for the rock crusher. Because how much is that? 20 grand, I think it was. Something like that. So we have a look. Oh, where is it? Two. Do, 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 do. 25 grand, so we need. Another 12 and a bit grand. Any contracts? Ah, oh, that's a 10 in contract as well. 64. Verse 64. Ah, oh, there it is. There is a 10 in contract. I. If that was a size contract, that would have been perfect for us. I mean, absolutely perfect, but no. Had to be difficult. But yeah, we're at 50%. I think that is fine for now. So let's go and what? Let's go and grab the mass in a sec. And we'll get that working, shall we? And there we go. That is absolutely a beauty she is. Absolutely stunning. You can actually see of all, all our tools and that. The gizmos and gimbos we've got. And yeah, I think we made a good choice of this. Not sure if there is a issue with the hydraulics on the front loader because getting a hydraulic sound. Not sure if that's just me or what. But yeah, I think you know what what we do with this is we'll get this onto the forge. Well, that means now we're gonna have to change colours, right? <laughs> oh, maybe, but nah, I don't think we will. But yeah, glad to see our campers are still doing well. Making steady income for now. I think we're making around two grand a month at the moment. Yeah, if we go to our finances, property income. Yeah, so June we made twenty four hundred, July twenty three hundred. As you got to the end of the summer, 2100. Uh, for the May, get around 2 grand ish, maybe 1900 in the end of it. But still, that is a decent hole, that is. But yeah, we'll start focusing back on the. Uh, foraging. That made that mince me off. Just climbing out like a beast. Yeah, I know it ain't perfect in that with the pile. But at least with the compaction. Oop. Let's not let's not drive on the roof. As I say that, we're driving on the roof. There we go. 
Hey, at least you want to access the roof and know how to. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, we are looking good here with this at 52% at the moment. We've still got a bit more to do. Maybe another 100 or so thousand years. In theory, we should get more, I think, maybe 150, but who knows? So, anyways, let's go and get this fish off before the sun falls for this week. Because I am optimistic we will get everything done. The rock crushing, we may do it next week in the next episodes, but for now, I'm glad we've made our purchase, so. But yeah, as I said, we'll get the rest done, and I'll see you folks once we're done here. There we go, we are done. Uh, we got about 390,000 litres, give or take. There are some that's being spilled out at the front. But we'll go and get that sorted in a sec. But yeah, I spent the last half an hour or so getting these. Well, half an hour in game time, getting these all compacted and squashed down. And there's definitely more room. I think maybe another dose and then I'm risking some of it spinning out but yeah I don't know why the last one we got what, over 400,000 litres this time we're 20,000 litres short so heck knows what's going on there okay we are done compacting yeah it's a couple of hundred litres there being spilled out Put the weights over here, so... Put you there. I'll put the rear one here, since this is a little corner area, not really accessing or needing. So you know what? I'll pop you down. But yeah, still some more things we need to do this week before we done are done. One, we need to sort out the horses, get them to that, or ride them, not walk them, it's not a dog, you ride them. But also we need the bucket, which is by the other side of the clamp, so we'll go and do that. But yeah, how is our animals doing? Our sheep are doing all good at the moment, getting some wool at the moment. Our cows, they're doing okay. They're, yeah, again, only two months old. And horses, yeah, they need our, their daily riding. 
But apart from that, they're doing alright actually. And yeah, I know at the moment we're sort of being a bit slow with the time progression. But that's the thing, that's sort of way off. Even out the series, we'll have different things to do in each episode. Don't get me wrong, there will be some months where we literally have nothing to do, so... Overall, we will skip time now. So you put it on the top. There we go. But yeah, it's just that's the thing. Also, we're a contractor, so we can always just sit for it within nearly month after month. Things he's doing, things he's get done. So yeah, that's just the nature of the business. So we just lost some there pushing that. Uh, maybe not. And just getting the last bits here at the front. Let's get this corner bit. There we go. And now it's just compacting this one last time. So yeah, overall we got, oh yeah, just shy of 390,000 litres. But yeah, let's go around a few times. Thankfully spillage hasn't been an issue for us. Okay, a bit more compaction. Come on. And that should be done now, so we'll drive out of here. E, there we go, and it'll bounce. And already we're wrecking our tractor, and it's only done 0.5 work hours. But yeah, it's that fully compacted. There we go, so that should be ready. Got stuck there, that should be ready this time next month. This, I am sure, is all done. It is. But yeah, that is 400,000 litres there. So, 10,000 litres short. I thought next was like, if it's like one or 2,000 litres, then yeah, maybe. But not 10,000 litres. Maybe it's bits of the grass at the bottom of the main field we forgot to do. Because obviously we had issues last time with the planting. So, could be that? Oh yeah, not sure. But yeah, so next time we need to get these rocks moved. And actually, I want to see now. Do we need to wait for this? Oh yes. Definitely, that's for sure. There we go. But yes, the next time we will do one contract. Whether or not we do that on camera or not, we'll definitely include the clip of it's sent bells or completing the contract. And yeah, so once we get that rock crusher in, start making some lime. And yeah, just see where we go from there. Yeah, we've still got the beans to harvest, the field beans. But we can wait till October. And I'm thinking of doing a winter crop in that, winter wheat or barley. But that could be done in October or November. But anyways, that is where I'm going to do. Smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, first you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Stream. And I'll see you all. A very soon.